Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and today I am going to be dyeing my hair with the Clairol Nice and Easy 7R Lightest Auburn. I have naturally red hair, but over the years it has turned brown on top. If you can see a little of the red here, but and in order for me to get the red that I want, I usually have to go very, very light with the red color. Because if I go too dark, it'll just look way too dark, almost like a dark brown, which I do not want. I want it to be like a brighter red. And I have never tried this Clairol nice and easy. I usually use the Garnier or the, the uh, Feria. So this is the first time I'm using this color and this brand. CC Plus Color Seal Conditioner. We have the instructions, which I'll read in a minute. The color cream, which it looks like it has 25 minutes on there. I usually try to leave it for as long as I can. The longest it tells me to leave it on. And the color activator. You usually mix these two together. Which is, these are the instructions. And of course the gloves, which you <laughs> don't want to be doing this out gloves. Hopefully I don't get this all over the place. As if you want to just do the roots, you can leave it on for 20 minutes, but it says if it's all over application, you do for leave it on for 25, which that's what I'm gonna do. After it's done, you rinse it out and you use the conditioner and then you just keep using the conditioner. I'm going to put the gloves on first and we're ready to screw this. A hole in the top. Which okay. No, no. Go all the way from the top and we're back. Try and get everything. It does not have a bad smell, that doesn't. It smells very nice actually, it doesn't have a very chemical smell to it. It's like a moisturizer, like you just put the cap back on, I don't snip it until you ever use it. Hmm. It smells nice. It looks very runny. Well, I should have put the, uh, it usually tells you to put some, uh, Vaseline on your head. But this doesn't seem to be very red. A lot of color that you use, like the color is actually red, so you get red all over yourself. <laughs> like that it's clear or like a white. I like to rub it into the sides like I really need it on the top of my head on the sides to really get it to go on there. I to go all through my hair trying to get it all in there rake your fingers through it. Get it all in there. Try and clip it on Amazon. I'm going to wipe off my forehead and set the timer for 25 minutes. It's kind of a brown color after it sits. It's been 25 minutes and here's the top of my head. It looks like it's getting more red. We'll wash out the color, put the conditioner in, and then when it's dry I'll show you what it looks like. I wanted to come out in natural lighting, see if you could see it better. I'm also going to insert a picture of me inside so you can see that in different lighting to see what it looks like. I really like the way it came out. The color is really beautiful. It looks kind of like a rose gold on top. 
I don't know if you can really tell. I really love the color. I really love that clor clear all nice and easy. Like I said, I'd never used it before, but I love how the color, it wasn't red when it came out, it was white. And the fragrance of it was really nice. It just smelled like a skincare. It wasn't all chemically smelling. Even the conditioner I used was nice. And it just did not get all over everything. Like I spilled a little bit out of the counter, just wiped it right off. And I had some like around my hairline, it just wiped right off. It wasn't all red like some others are, where it stains everything. So I think it's a really great, like it's very even looking. Like a lot of times I do my hair and it's like the top is turning brown so the top is a different color than the rest, but I think this really created a really even looking color. And I'm going to insert another picture of what it looks like inside so maybe you can get a good picture of it. But overall I really like this hair color. Hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day.